Welcome to PETA's Palette Pals. With a hands-on artistic experience, children ages 6 to 12 learn to create art in the style of John F. Pito and other famous artists. The program gives children the opportunity to explore different areas of art and can be a life-changing experience for them. Here, the children are provided with a number of pictures, colors, and paints that allow them to create a piece of artwork that is unique to them. This program is run on behalf of the John F. Pito Studio Museum in Island Heights, New Jersey. The museum displays the artwork and memorabilia of the former artist, John F. Pito, in the home he used to live in. John F. Pito was, he was a trompe l'oeil artist, which is a still life artist, um, specifically trying to fool your eye with realistic objects. Pito's Palette Pals was a project developed in partnership with the Historic Artist Homes and Studios Program of the National Trust. Uh, we decided to partner with the Ocean County Library on this project because they have the ability to reach out to all of Ocean County with their schedule of events. Uh, the idea was to teach short lessons to children aged um, first to sixth grade on some of the artists in the Haas or the Historic Artists uh, Homes and Studios program, uh, give them short lessons, and then challenge them to create a work of art of their own in the style of that artist. What's great about something like Peter's Palette Pals is it's actually tied right into um, real ideas about the history of art making, what kind of people make art, where they make their art, what kind of materials they use, what kind of forms it is, and all of them working in different periods, all of them working with different kinds of materials, all of them working in um, different sort of what we call modes of expression, and so it gives the the those who are participating a chance to explore these different ways of making arts. And I think what was also really strong about this program in particular is that it tied all of that back. Uh, it used Pito as a jumping off point, but then it tied it all back to where Pito lived, which was in the state of New Jersey. You know, the fact that John F. Pito worked there, lived there, created amazing artwork there, and I believe in keeping his spirit alive. Pito's Pow Pals teaches children about Pito's artwork style and gives the children the opportunity to make their own special piece of artwork. And the children really had a lot of fun. And when they were finished with their little lesson and their art, they had something to take home. And that was really wonderful to see. So the library has had a lot of fun with the Pedo Museum and this project. And we're grateful to have watched it unfold. During this session, the program first starts off with a lesson about the famous American photographer, Alice Austin. We are going to learn about an artist today. Her name is Alice Austin, and she is an American female photographer. Okay? So um, she was born in Staten Island, and she would take pictures. This was way before iPhones, before digital cameras. So instead of just taking a picture on a digital camera on your phone and uploading it to your computer, she had to figure out how the whole photographic process, how to develop her photograph. Then, the students explore more areas of Alice Austin's artwork by choosing a picture of a famous New Jersey icon. With this picture, the children make their own piece of artwork. So we're going to talk about some famous people that are from New Jersey. Has anyone ever heard of Bruce Springsteen before? No. Nobody? You have? What do you know about Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> Pedo Pallet Pals program was very memorable for the children because they were given really top-notch educational experience and because of our generous funders, we had the best in art supplies. Um, they were given true direction in what kind of masterpiece to create with a visual um, introduction to that. And the imagination and the talent that these children showed was not to be believed. Um, it really was inspiring. All right, guys, so I'm going to put my guy here, and I'm just going to start drawing and designing, and I know you guys are all experts at that, yes. okay? So I'm going to come in here. Art is important because it's ultimately the, the human spirit's visceral and fundamental desire to express. If you would like more information about Pito's Palette Pals, 
or the John F. Pito Studio Museum, then visit the websites today.